Teddy. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful... Opening three minutes of this scheduled 12-rounder. Teddy, this has the feeling of a fight that very much looks like it'll be a chess match. Yeah, this is a Bobby Fischer-type fight, no doubt about that. It's a matter of who moves their pawn, and each guy doing a real careful job and a thoughtful job before they touch those pieces. Good smooth work by Hurricane. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. What are some of the adjustments that can typically be made halfway through a matchup like this of speed versus speed? Just to remind your charge, your fighter, that, hey, there's a lot more to this world, to this fight, than just speed. Why don't you start doing other things? Why don't you start fainting a little bit? Get the guy out of position a little bit. Get him into false moves. Nice block by Hurricane. Blocks that punch. Boy, oh boy, that's tough to take. Big shot there. Maybe the most destructive blow in all of boxing. That body shot is debilitating. He is down. One, two, three, four, five. So he was knocked down there. But now he's giving you every indication that he's fresh and ready to go back after. Yeah, well, I think he's giving that to you because he is, as you said, just a quick knockdown. But right now, what he's got to be careful for is the same mistake again. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Nice work blocking that, and then an uppercut of his own. Intentions is gonna think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. All right, you okay, right? Breathe for me. Now listen. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're gonna find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them, and he's responding just that way. A little head hunting with the left. job landing that counter punch getting away from one that was coming at him by Mitchell Hurricane committed to that counter punching very early on here in this fight and that can pay off as the night continues well it's paying off right now because you see that his opponent now is getting a little worried about letting his hands go because every time he does he doesn't find anything and he finds something coming back at him halfway through this round here Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And now he scores well with a straight right. Good looking counter punch. And he engages in the clinch. Good counter by Hurricane. And now the right hand lands because of the work done by the jab. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Bad Intentions has got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch scored. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Jab, jab, and throw. Throw to the body, then to the head, then finish to the body. Here you go. And round number three is underway. 
A little something of his own. Blocks the shot, brings back the uppercut. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Well timed by Mitchell. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Bad intentions, his opponent landing an effective counterpunch right there. Keep doing what you're doing. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Bad intentions is hit by a counterpunch there. Great hook to the head that time. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. on the one-two by Hurricane. Mitchell's being very patient here, but it's with a plan in mind. Yeah, it is with a plan in mind, and that's why he's such a successful fighter. On, he's trying to lure up. his opponent into a mistake. Good, solid right hand lands. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Wow, is this good stuff. What good stuff. He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier. Joe, that's incredible, and the knockdown earlier actually Set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. Four, five, six. Mitchell's back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Bad intentions is got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. Canes on the wrong end of a destructive uppercut. And round three right. comes to Go an right. end. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Well, we heard his analysis, but as for how Teddy has scored those first three rounds, here's a look. <laughs> Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. Took a shot. Now he gives the left. Bad intentions. His movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Hurricane's coming out here after being knocked down in the previous round. How important is it for him to be cautious here, to make sure that he does have his legs underneath him? You know, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword there, Joe, because if you're too cautious, hey, your opponent, he leads it. You're not in that ring alone, you know, and then he's going to get more aggressive. So you want to go out there, maybe faint him a little bit. Let him think you're okay. Let him think you want to go after him. Let him think you want to engage a little bit and then wind up boxing, staying on the outside, buying some time. That straight right, unable to connect. Precision work with the left hand by her. Big shot, the right came clean. Combo lands to the head. Oh, and there you go. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this way way things punch. kick in. You gotta start moving that head automatically right now. You don't wanna stay in the middle. Jab followed by the straight by bad intention. Do not focus this. Well targeted left hand by Hurricane. And round four comes to an end. Mitchell's approach is to score from the outside. That's already shown itself early on here as he scored to his opponent's head. 
start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never expect them to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old, in there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell. He was on the floor three times in the first round. He found a way to come back and knock him out in the 11th. Is this another one of those nights? Carries that punch intended for the head. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Watch that! Solid uppercut. You see how quickly he pulls the trigger on the hook after that block? And he just turns that hook up top, and it does damage. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand, by bad intention. One, two. One, two. Carries the punch, puts one in there. Not able to land the headshot. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Solid counter punch by Mitchell. He just missed that shot up top. Bad intentions is right hand scores well. Big shot, and he goes down again. Will he get up from this? Get up. One, get up. two, get up. three, four, Stand five, Stand up. six, seven, eight, Let's nine. Fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? No. Don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. Bro, throw punches, okay? Don't just don't walk into him without throwing a punch. Mitchell's coming off a round in which he was shook up really bad. He hit the canvas again. He needs things to change. Parries the punch, comes back with the hook. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Defense easily turns into offense. Blocks a blow, sends an uppercut. Bad intentions is throwing lots of punches and not many are landing. But what's that old saying? Hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick. Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. Hurricane's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. See him holding on. Crashes home with the uppercut. Bad intentions is right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. It's okay, let's go. And now he's targeting upstairs. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. Two snapping jabs by bad intentions. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. He took a go of it to the body but came up empty. Tensions is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. And round six comes to an end. 60 seconds. That's all they get. Just 60 seconds to deal with the fact that their fighter has an eye that's completely shut. That's all they need. I mean, that's their job. Now they got to show 
that they can perform under those conditions. Bad intentions, his work rate is very high. I looked at the punch stats and you can see that he's a busy guy. I don't think he's an effective guy though. A lot of these aren't landing. Well, you have a reason to think that, Joe. Guess what? I agree, they're not landing. Able to counter that attack. Not able to land the uppercut. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercuts. Bad intentions has got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. his intention and that's what he's doing not engaging in the fight but clinching Touch yourself. he missed with that headshot bad intentions is oh teddy this has got to drive his trainer crazy because he's leaving himself wide open with these sweeping shots well you talk about that old saying leaving the barn door open and the horses are going to go out well guess what the punches oh he is absolutely affected by that right hand never saw it coming worst kind of right hand you can catch he should tie up here hurricane snap by a right there it is oh that's a big shot mitchell's hurt he's down and hurt can he beat the count right now he's thinking about another line of employment one two Fight is over. Bad intentions is bombs away worked again. Knockout victory for him. By way of knockouts, your It ends the way most fans want it to end. Not in the hands of the judges, determined by the fist. He's a knockout victory. Well, exactly what fans are always looking for. It's kind of like walking into a room and there's somebody hidden behind the door and they hit you on the head. You're gonna go out cold because you don't have time to register it. You don't have time to prepare and brace for it. He never saw this coming, out of the blue. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.